In this video, I'm going to show how to make a terrain material for your landscape. So uh, we're going to start here with a, um, we're going to start with starter content because it has some materials in there, some textures actually that we're going to use. And I'm going to create a new one, a new terrain uh, right here. And I'll just give it my last name and call it terrain and create a project. So that will go ahead and get us started. And uh, what we'll do is I'm going to start making a terrain that has uh, that has three textures on it, maybe four, but we'll do something like dirt, grass, rocks, and uh, we'll put them all together. And then we'll uh, and then we'll go ahead and use um, use that material. So as soon as this comes up, it looks like uh, it's opening up the level. But we'll go ahead and um, We'll go ahead and uh, put three materials together, and uh, or three textures together, and we're going to put them together for uh, a landscape. Now, keep in mind that Epic uses the terms landscape and terrain kind of interchangeably. So, um, uh, so, but we're going to make landscape is what we're really going to do here. So, let's give it just a moment. Looks like it's about ready to come up, and there it is. All right, now since I used the vehicle advanced uh, template here, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to start off by just deleting all this stuff because I don't really need it for what I'm doing here. I'm going to make my own. So, uh, so I'll just take and uh, delete all this stuff. So anything that's in here. Actually, it'll be much easier if I just come over here. And uh, everything that's in, I don't need ramps, I don't need tracks. I'm not going to use any of this stuff. So... Um, uh, not even the loop, so I'm just going to go ahead and let's see if I can delete all this stuff. I probably should have just said new, so delete. You know what? It's just easier to do that. Let's do that. File, new level. There we go. And I'm just going to use this default level right here and not save any of it. Okay, that looks really good. Now let's, uh, let's delete the floor because we're not going to need the floor. And everything else I'm going to leave here. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. First of all, uh, in content, I always like you to create your own folder here. So if you right click, go new folder, and then I'm just gonna name mine Brad Assets. We want to have an assets folder where everything that you make is gonna go into. Well, we're going to create a new material. So if you right click and choose material, we'll create a new material. And uh, I put my initials in it. So mine's gonna be BJS Terrain Mat. BJS Terrain Mat, and then if you double click it, that will bring up our terrain editor, and I'm going to put it right in there full screen so that we can see it and zoom in a little bit here. All right, now <clears throat> you can see that uh, right now our preview is not showing anything except this uh, black sphere here. Let's go ahead and start adding some textures uh, into our level here. So if I go back here, and uh, since we're using, um, since we're using uh, uh, starter content. Let's go ahead and just grab some of that. So starter content, I'll double click in there. Let's not materials. We actually want to grab textures. So I'm going to grab some textures out of there and I guess I need to pull this off a little bit to make it a little bit easier. Let me uh, resize this. There we go. And um, oh, can you see that window? Uh, that's kind of interesting. I don't know if you're able to see that window. I hadn't looked at that before. Well, let's do it this way then. Now, okay, I'll have to do it this way. All right, so anyway, so I'd like to find some grass, and if I can't find any grass, I can always search for it right here. Type in grass, and uh, here's some grass, and also there is a, uh, uh, a normal map for it. I'm just going to use this grass right here. If I select it, come into my material, hold down my T key and click. That will bring whatever texture I have selected in there. It will uh, go ahead and bring it in here. Now let's also add in, uh, so that was good, we found grass. Let's uh, see if there's any rock in there and there is some rock. So I'll go ahead and select a rock that I like and uh, come back here, hold T and click. And uh, again, I'm just gonna make like three, but I think you can make up to like maybe eight or more textures uh, here. And then let's grab one more. Um, how about, let's see, is there, um, let's see, we have grass, rock, and let's see, is there any sand? 
Um, there's sandstone, that might do. Um, so we could grab that and come in here, hold the T key and click. So that looks good. So I've got grass and uh, we'll just call this sand. So I have grass, rocks, and uh, sand. What about one more maybe for dirt? How about that? Let's type in dirt and no results. Let's see if we can go all the way back to uh, starter content and no results. So I don't have any dirt. Okay, so I'm good with what I have then. Let's see. I could probably like use something else for dirt here. I don't know. There's lots of stuff here. There's lots of different rocks that you can use. Um, some wood and things like that, but I'm good with what I have. So I'm going to go back into my terrain, into my material here. Now I'd like, to, I can't hook all three of these up to my base color because the moment I hook the second one up, it unhooks the first one up. And then if I try to hook this one up, so I can't hook all three of them up at the same time. I can um, disconnect that by holding the alt key and clicking. So I need to get something in here that I can connect these in. Well, let's, uh, over here we have our, our nodes and our palette. We're going to type in the word landscape. And uh, you'll see I have several different things here. I have landscape layer weight, which is the one that we want to use. And so let's, uh, let's drag landscape layer weight over here. That looks good. And then also we're going to, while we're here, we're going to drag in the landscape layer chords. And uh, let's drag that one over here on this side. Now, um, I need two more of both of these. So I'm just going to grab this one and hit Control C and then Control V, Control V. And that brings this up two more times. I'll set those there. And then the same thing with landscape coordinates, Control C and then Control V, Control V. So that gives them their own coordinates in here. All right, let's connect this. Landscape coordinates will connect into the UVs. Right there and right there. That's a nice easy thing that we can do. And then over here, our terrain, um, our landscape layer uh, weights right here. We have to do a couple things here actually. First of all, let's go ahead and connect them. So I'm going to connect my um, RGB channel into the layer of my layer weight. And then uh, let's do that for each of them. Connect that into the layer and again into the layer. And then also let's take the output of the top layer and let's connect that into the base channel of the layer below it. And the same thing here. The output goes into the base. And then we have one more output here and there's nothing below it. So that is what is eventually going to go into our base color right there. So this is our setup, but as you'll notice, I still don't really see anything coming up here. We need to make a few changes. So here in the landscape layer weight, um, it says none. Well, we need to put a name there. So over here with this is where this is selected, let's go ahead and choose the parameter name and let's call that, um, let's call that grass. So I'm going to uh, type in um, BJS grass for that one. And let's give it a preview weight of 0.5 so we can see it in my preview window there, 0.5. And that looks pretty good and we can see the grass. The next thing, the next one below it, this is our rock. So I'm going to call it BJS rock. And again, give it a preview weight of 0.5. And then you can see it's starting to blend in there, my preview. And then down here, the last one, this is going to be our dirt. And so this will be a BJS, and I'll just call it dirt, even though it's sand. And give it a preview weight of 0.5 as well. All right, so now it's kind of blended all three of these together. And you can see that in my preview here. And that's fine. That looks good. So, uh, so the important things, we brought in the textures, we brought in the landscape layer chords, and then we also added landscape layer weight. So here they are, landscape layer chords, landscape layer weight, and I'll uh, clear my selection. All right, that looks good. So in my landscape layer weights, I had to change the name and give it a preview weight, and uh, that's pretty good for right here, and we're all hooked up. So as far as this goes, I'm good, we just need to save. We may come back and change these landscape layer chords. Uh, it just depends on how it looks. For instance, right now, um, our scale is at zero. We may change that uh, a little bit later on. So it just depends on how large or small the grass looks. So, all right, we saved it. Let's go back into our level. 
and uh, and that's creating a material. So, tell you what, I am going to um, stop this because this is the one for creating material, and then we'll do another one, another video for creating the terrain and painting it. So, thanks for watching.